anything, Dr. Carr? Nothing intelligible. He just keeps saying he's Mr. Albright. Now, just relax, man, and Doctor will give you a chance to talk. Will you promise to be quiet if we take the tape off? Oh! Margie, for heaven's sake, what's going on around here? Is everybody crazy? Oh, poor soul. He's worse off than I thought. He doesn't even know who Mr. Albright's daughter is. I'd better call the police. Uh, no, no. I'll be glad to pay for his care. Oh, sir, whoever you are, you don't want to go to jail, do you? Now, just keep calm and relax and leave everything to the countess. <laughs> got a reprieve, but I don't know for how long. You've got to find Jeff and tell him the truth before the lid blows off. Dad's already flipped his. Yeah, now that's better. Now, if you promise to be a good boy, I'll take the tape off. You can have a nice smoke. <coughs> what do you say? <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean, thank you. Uh, I'll promise not to be violent if you'll do me just one little favor. Well, of course. Go to that phone and call Mr. Honeywell of Honeywell and Todd in New York. And, and, and he'll vouch for me. He'll tell you that I am Vernon Albright. Very well, if it'll make you feel any better. Get me Mr. Honeywell in New York. Hello? Oh, hello, Dr. Carr. What can I do for you? Who, Vernon Albright? Well, no, Dr. Albright's in Chicago. He took a plane a couple of hours ago. I see. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Honeywell. I just didn't want to make an unfortunate mistake. Goodbye, sir. Well, now you're satisfied? I most certainly am. <laughs> Vernon Albright is in Chicago. <laughs> well, who are you? Oh, Jeff, am I glad to see you. I don't know what to do about this man. Now, Countess wants me to take care what of him. man? Who are you talking about? A poor fellow suffering under the delusion that he is the father of Countess Dubois' companion. Margie Albright? Yes. But the real Albright is in Chicago, I check. Where is this fellow? In the X-ray room. I just dropped by to tell you there's a screwball on the loose. A fellow by the name of Dale. Now, if he comes in here to give you any medicine, don't take it. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> now, just be calm, my friend. I've come to help you. Ow! Is, is your name Dale? Well, that's right. Now, you just lie back there, and I'll get you something to quiet your nerves. Uh, is, is, is that... Oh, yeah, Dr. Carr, are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, Countess, tell these crackpots who I am. Well, there's no doubt about it in my mind. You're Mr. George Honeywell. I am? I mean, of course I am. And why didn't you say so in the first place? And you're not the Countess. She is. Well, who said she wasn't? <laughs> it's all right, Mr. Honeywell. Margie and I just changed places for a little while, that's all. There's nothing to be confused about just because Louise wanted to be Margie and Margie wanted to be the Countess because it was all for love and, you know, Lemur to your Lemur and she's going to sign the contract, so I don't see what's your problem, Mr. Honeywell. All right, all right, I give up. If the Countess would just sign the contract, I'd go right on being confused. I just happen to have a copy with me. Oh, no, you don't. Louise promised to sign with Dad personally. That's right, and I always keep my bargain. By the way, where is Mr. Albright? Yeah, where is he? Yeah, where is he? Holy mackerel! What are they doing? Therapy, they're packing in the knives. Ooh. Ooh. 